Well, hello everyone. My name is Christine Bonjavani Steff, and welcome to my Wisdom Wednesday, where I hope to inspire you to grow into a better version of who you were yesterday. So, as I was thinking about what I was going to talk about today, what a couple things kind of came to my mind, and I have been really studying belief systems this month, and because I have talked about belief several times in a couple of my, I've had a couple of videos where I've talked about it, I decided to talk about scarcity and abundance. Um, and it actually does tie into beliefs. And um, I just want to share this with you and the work that I have been doing in my own life right now. So scarcity is really the concept of having a limited availability of something. Um, it might be uh, your time, it might be your money, it might be friends, it might be the amount of love that you can put out in the world. And then we have the total opposite of opposite of that being abundance and that being that you have more than an adequate amount or supply of that thing whatever it might be um, and so I want to just talk about that there is really that belief um, with uh, those four things that I mentioned, money, time, friends, love, and we could use it with anything like water and electricity. But today I'm actually going to talk about an example in my life. And I have noticed as I've been doing some of this work that I often think about things from the viewpoint of scarcity, like money, I never have enough money, I never have enough time. And so I have been really working on my belief around all of that. And I'm going to explain why. So every day, I used to have this thought, which turned into a belief that I never had enough time to do all the things that I wanted to do in a day. And I had been thinking this thought for so long. And this is a thought that I hear so many people talk about in their normal conversation, that it has become normal for almost all of us. Oftentimes, some of the first things people say is they talk about how busy they are, how there's not enough time to get their work done. There's not enough time to visit their friends. There's not enough time to do the fun things that they want in their life. And I had just resigned to the fact that I would never be able to do all the things. And I like to do a lot of things. That's just the way I am. I like to learn a lot of stuff. I like to do different things. And some of that, this is a super, this is a topic that I could talk about for a whole long time. But this is a short little tutorial. So I have also learned to really constrain myself and focus on specific things that I want. But that might be a good topic for next week. So back to the scarcity. What I have learned is that this thought doesn't serve me one bit. It makes me this thought that there's never going to be enough time to do all the things that I want to do. It makes me feel a bunch of different emotions depending upon the day, depending upon exactly how I think about it. It might make me feel overwhelmed, defeated, reluctant, um, anxious, a host of many negative types of feelings. And what this would play out, how this would play out in my day is that 
very typical for me during my quiet time in the morning. I have a piece of paper there to write down any thoughts that I might have while I'm there. And though I do write down thoughts and ideas, I also write down things I need to do. And um, so that I would think about all the things that I need to get done. I would procrastinate. I you know, would make those lists. I would do the simple tasks so that I could just cross things off of the list. And I would plan my time, but I wouldn't necessarily stick, stick to my schedule, which is a whole nother thing about uh, a no, whole nother teaching topic about really learning to trust yourself and do the things that you tell yourself you're going to do. So all of these thoughts are coming from a place of scarcity, not having enough, always wanting more. And the result that I was getting is I exactly what my thought was. I wasn't able to do all of the things. And so with the concept of changing our beliefs and, and I have talked about progressively changing your beliefs. So not going from, I don't have enough time to, I have all the time in the world to do all the things. I have chose to start thinking the thought that I'm becoming the person who truly believes there's enough time in the day to do all the things that I want to do. Now with this thought, and because it's an evolving thought, I will often fall back to the way my brain used to be, where it would just go back to, there's not enough time, I can't get all this done. And then I do the work and I come back to, I am becoming the person who believes there is enough time to do all the things that I want to do. And this thought, this new thought, makes me feel so many different positive feelings, courageous committed, willing, fearless, excited. And these emotions lead me to plan my day ahead of time, honor my commitment to my plan, looking at things that might challenge my plan as possible opportunities and making a clear choice as to how I'm going to handle these challenges to my schedule. Um, knowing that everything on my calendar is a choice made by me. So these are some of the choices, the uh, things that I, the actions that I'm taking from this new thought that's creating a new emotion. Another action is knowing that I can choose to do something or I can choose not to do it. I don't have to do anything all day if I don't want, right? It's all a choice that I make. So now the result that I'm getting from this new thought is it, it creates a result that I'm absolutely madly in love with. And it's that I do exactly what I want to do with my day. So at the end of the day, I do think about it and I see the slips where I go back and forth. Um, but it, completely allows me to enjoy the time that I spend doing whatever is on my calendar with no regrets. And so, like I said, it's a belief system in progress. I often like still default back, but I'm able to work through these times and recognize them. Like I might be in the middle of it and I'll be like, wait, nothing has gone wrong here. Let's step back and take a look at what's going on and it's just like a different way to look at my schedule and honestly I get so much more done and I am so looking forward to the future like by the end of this year to see how much more I get done as this new belief system be this these new thoughts become an actual belief system and um I will very soon be the person that wakes up every day knowing that I have the perfect amount of time in that day to do all of the things that I choose to do.
So I hope that helps you and gives you some ideas for things that you might be able to do with things that you might be noticing that you're looking at from a perspective of scarcity versus abundance. Um, and with that, I have a couple things. I am looking for some people that I can run through my program, my beta program, and it's a 12 week program. And I would love to do a consult with any of you. If you feel like you might be a fit for my program, I'm actually going to throw out a few questions. And if you answer yes to any of these questions, to all of these questions, basically, um, you and I would, I would love to talk to you and run you through all of the questions I have. And in return, I am going to give you a sweet gift uh, that I will let you know what that is after um, we get on the phone and go through the questionnaire. So do you feel like you have hidden pain, like pain that you're hiding from others? Um, another question, do you seek to avoid rejection and abandonment? Do you, let's see, what's the third question I wanna ask? Um, do you, would you say that you have an existence of a secret double life? Like meaning, you know, out in the world, out in the workforce, you're this person that's just knocking it out of the park, doing all the right things, getting all the things done. And then you come home to a whole different person where you're like withdrawn, depressed, maybe. Um, and then the other one I wanted to ask, so actually I'm going to ask, Four, um, are you afraid to trust anyone in a relationship? So if you answered yes to maybe three or four of those, I'd love to connect with you and um, I'd love to work through my program with you. And then if you are at all interested in getting a coaching session and seeing what that's all about, I do three free coaching sessions a week. Next week, I have, let's see, this week, I have one left. Today is Wednesday, so I have a couple left. Uh, I mean, a couple days left, but I have one session left. And next week, I believe I have three full sessions left. So you can go to my bio to get the link to schedule your appointment. You guys have an amazing day and I love you. Bye-bye.